In this video, we will discuss the quote function in the inventory module. We will start by clicking inventory at the top of the screen, then click on the sales menu, then go to the quotation section and click new quotation. You can use this menu to create new customer quotes. There are two ways to enter data. If you have a large amount of data to enter, you can do a batch upload. To do so, go to the upper right corner and click on the option button. Then click eCount Web Upload and you can copy and paste the Excel data into this field here. You can click download an Excel template to easily upload the data. When you're done, click save at the bottom of the screen. If you have a small amount of data, you can do manual entries in the screen you see here. This video will discuss manual entries. First, verify the date at the top of the screen is correct. Then, enter a customer. Enter the location where the inventory will be coming from. Then, select whether or not you'll be applying sales tax to the quote. Then, choose the currency that the quote will be in either a domestic currency or a foreign currency. If you have not already entered foreign currencies into the system, you must do so before completing the quote. You can learn more by watching the foreign currency registration video. Now enter the item code. Enter the quantity. As you can see, the price was automatically uploaded. This is based on the item registration. However, if you'd like to change the price, you can easily do so by clicking on the Change Price button in the upper corner, and then select the price that you'd like to apply. Or if you'd like to simply apply an adjustment to the price, click Adjustment, and then you can either add or decrease a percentage of the price. When you're done, click Apply. If you'd like to view the inventory quantity at the location out that you've entered, click on the item number and then click Inventory. When you're done, click Save at the bottom of the screen or to view the slip that you've just created, click Save and Print. If you'd like to modify this template that you see here, go to the upper right corner and click Template. If you'd like to export this quote to Excel, go to the upper left corner and click on the Excel button. If you'd like to email this quote to the client, click email and you'll be able to do so. Thank you for watching part one of the new quote video.